holy crap, this place is bad. There's so much that went wrong there. Even from the second I got there, I knew, like, I'm being exploited. Really, I think they need to shut down the hospital and start over. I don't think it should continue to run, and I'm not the only one who feels that way. It's a perpetual problem. And who's responsible for it? For months, the Fox 13 News investigative team has been interviewing patients and employees of Highland Ridge Hospital in Midvale. It is a for-profit psychiatric facility for children and adults owned by Acadia Health. The Utah Department of Health has cited Highland Ridge 44 times since 2019, finding more than 100 problems. Tonight, Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbets takes us inside the facility, exposing issues that the Utah Attorney General's office tells us they are now aggressively investigating. For years, we've been calling it a mental health crisis. Horrific neglect when you were at Highland Ridge. And in times of crisis. I was convinced that there was no hope. Most patients say they never had a choice where to go. I had another panic attack until I cried myself to sleep. From the whole start, I was like, mm. They're just doing the bare minimum. Last November, Courtney Holder White checked herself in to Highland Ridge Hospital in Midvale. I went there for treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder and I was traumatized the whole time I was there. Immediately, she says she noticed differences between this facility and the others she had been to. It was night and day. It was so unfair and I felt so powerless because I know better. Courtney is also a nurse. She does not work at Highland Ridge, but once she checked in as a patient, she says she had no choice but to start acting like an employee. There's so much that went wrong there. Instead of worrying about herself, she described taking care of other patients. I can imagine witnessing some of that. And calling police to report the conditions inside. One patient in particular she suspected was being over-medicated and neglected by employees who did not wash or change her. She didn't know where she was. She didn't know what she was doing. Glazed over, dazed and confused, didn't know what was going on. She says that was only part of the problem. Each day, Courtney says she was the one who came in to help the patient shower and get dressed. Patients have free access to each other's rooms. Anybody could be in here taking advantage of her. Anybody. Since 2019, Unified Police have investigated these 33 calls to the facility. Five of them are for sexual assault, and some of them involve children. Both police and the Utah Department of Health have found sometimes staff were not following legal requirements to report cases to police or protective services. According to one police report, an employee told them providers within the hospital are threatened with being fired if they report such incidents due to it affecting the hospital reputation. He did not want to provide more information because he was scared of retaliation by administration. I could definitely see how that could easily get missed and that's how sexual assaults happen. Whitney Godfrey was 14 years old when she was transferred to Highland Ridge in 2018. She's been to seven psychiatric facilities to battle depression. Highland Ridge was the worst inpatient I've ever been to. She says the biggest issues were lack of supervision, failure to provide the correct medication, and little to no therapy. Even from the second I got there, I knew, like, I'm being exploited. The Utah Department of Health says Whitney's complaints were valid, finding the same problems in this inspection from January 2019. Patients assaulting each other due to lack of supervision, patients having their medication administered incorrectly, and patients being discharged before receiving the prescribed number of therapy sessions. Well, that's part of the reason I agreed to this interview is because I feel it's my job as a therapist to be an advocate for these patients. This man was a social worker at Highland Ridge Hospital until July 2019 and is one of 12 employees Fox 13 has spoken with so far. He has to not be identified due to future employment opportunities. As a therapist, do you think patients left feeling better? That's a complicated question. I think some, yes. I think a lot of them, no. Money is the primary driving factor for them. They treated every single person there, staff and patients included, like a number. Highland Ridge is basically a holding pen 
You put them there, you put them on medication, and you leave them. This woman also asked to not be identified for personal reasons and yeah. left in 2019. She worked as a technician and believes the hospital was unsafe for patients and staff. Were you guys trained on how to do restraints properly? Oh, no. No. There was a time where we did that sitting chair restraint, um, and the patient actually slammed their head to the side, and it gave me a concussion. I ended up having to go to the ER after my shift. According to the Department of Health, technicians are supposed to check on patients at least every 15 minutes. In some cases, every five minutes. You need to watch them breathe. You need to make sure that they are actually inhaling and exhaling. But last July, one of the employees did not realize her patient was dead until he was, quote, cold and stiff to the touch. UPD is investigating. It's our responsibility to make sure that they're safe, not only, you know, from each other, but from themselves. Since 2019, the Utah Department of Health has found more than 100 issues at Highland Ridge Hospital, citing the facility with deficiencies in 44 areas. They've only inspected the property four times whenever there's a complaint. If you have an inspection that you fail, you're going to have a follow up. But the state is repeatedly finding the same problems related to patient safety, despite the facility's promises to retrain staff and correct the issues. It doesn't appear that that is something that's sticking for a long period of time. Joel Hoffman is the director of licensing and certification for the Utah Department of Health. He says the pattern at this facility is concerning. So there are inherent challenges that they do face. It is not easy. Um, but, again, that's not an excuse. Honestly, I can't believe it hasn't been shut down by the state already. Okay, like, enough's enough. Really, I think they need to shut down the hospital and start over. The facility, in my opinion, needs to be shut down. But the Department of Health says because Highland Ridge receives Medicare and Medicaid funding, only the federal government can start the process of revoking the facility's certification. Since 2019, the feds have threatened to do it six times. I think it really just comes down to lack of training and being understaffed. Highland Ridge has also had its state license revoked twice since 2019, but in each case, the hospital was given a conditional license and reissued a standard license once administrators corrected the problems. If you don't have enough staff, reduce your clientele a little bit. Once they show correction, then we um, we allow them to operate unless something else comes up. Mental health patients are taken advantage of by the systems that are supposed to help them and fail to protect them. Earlier today, we received an email response from Highland Ridge Hospital, which said, in part, in each of the instances cited in your report, deficiencies were addressed and systems put into place to ensure ongoing compliance with regulatory standards. Highland Ridge is fully licensed and currently operates with no pending regulatory restrictions or outstanding deficiencies. The CEO also says he believes a small number of disgruntled former employees are trying to damage the hospital's reputation. Reporting in studio tonight, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you have questions about tonight's investigation, Adam will be live on the face Fox 13 Facebook page in just a few minutes. He'll try to answer as many questions as possible. And if you have a story you'd like the Fox 13 News investigative team to look into, email iteam at fox13now.com or call the tip line. The number is 801-536-1314.